Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WWE News and Rumors. I'm your host, Brandon Hutch. Brought to you guys by SeatGeek. So if you guys are looking for tickets for any event in the entire world, get those tickets through SeatGeek. Use my last name, code Hodge, check out. You guys will get $20 off your tickets. This is for first-time orders only, guys. So if you like use SeatGeek before, like make a new account, new email address, you can still use the code. Code Hodge is my last name. It'll get you $20 off any ticket for any event in the entire world right over on SeatGeek. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and jump into this episode of WWE News Rumors with the first news story of the day. We're talking about Randy Orton, ladies and gentlemen, the Viper, the Legend Killer, the Mr. RKO guy, whatever you else you want to call this man. Um, so they're doing a like storyline injury. Um, so I don't want to bust anyone's bubble, but I think Orton will be okay. I think it's a storyline deal. Uh, you know, he had the, took a pedigree from Kevin Owens, uh, damaged his spine or whatever, sent to the hospital, and now WWE released a statement saying that Randy Orton, that man Randy Orton, he has some spine problems and he is out indefinitely and may never wrestle again. Is that coming directly from the WWE? And that is completely. Of course, like storyline. It's it's telling the story. That's what it's for. He's not actually injured. He's gonna be okay. He's gonna be back. If you don't know, but I gotta say, it's absolutely great to see they're doing some more storyline, edgy kind of uh, injuries and stuff to, to like tell a story, use it as a tool to tell a story. I enjoy it. Let's keep it going because it kind of like blurs the line of like, is Orton okay? Because he just came back from like the back injury where they said he may never wrestle again. So it's kind of cool. I like uh, how they how they're doing the storytelling through this, and Kevin Owens has gone completely bonkers, we know that for sure. Alright, so that's actually the only confirmed news series that I talked to you guys about today, because that one came directly from the WWE. So it is that time, ladies and gentlemen, go and get those juice boxes out, get those juice boxes ready, because it is now time to talk about some juicy, uh, juicy rumors. Alright, the first rumor of the day is going to be about Netflix. So, if you don't know, if you've been living under a rock, the rock that is, uh, basically Netflix is getting Monday Night Raw. Monday Night Raw is going to Netflix. So if you like watching Monday Night Raw, you want to continue watching Monday Night Raw, you're going to have to get Netflix, at least here in the United States. I, I don't know if that's like all over the place. I know Netflix is in a many, many, and I mean many countries. So I would imagine some other countries are like that too. If you live in another country, let me know. Is, is the Netflix thing affecting you guys too? You guys have to get Netflix and watch it there. Because I know, of course, like Raw is always on USA Network here in the United States, but like different places at different places. So you know, let me know how that works. I'm kind of curious because I actually don't know. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, this is about Netflix and Raw. So Raw happens every Monday night, at least here in the United States. Depending on your time zone, it may happen at a different time live for you guys. But the thing is, when they do these international tours and they want to do like a televised show in like, let's say we're talking about England or something like that. They want to do a televised show in London or something, right? They have to pre-tape it. They have to like film it when it's like nighttime in London, which is like noon here in the United States. Okay, it's maybe not quite noon, but it's like early afternoon. Uh, and we don't get it until like, so anyway, there's spoilers for like Raw and stuff like that for us in the United States because it's happening way before it airs on television, like hours before, so we get the spoilers for that. Uh, but actually with Netflix, that might all actually be changing because Netflix said they're actually open to having like Monday Night Raw earlier. So it's like when they go to the UK and they're having the show at like, well, like two o'clock Eastern time zone in the United States, they're actually going to air it at two o'clock Eastern time zone in the United States. They're not going to wait until 8 o'clock and air it like USA always did. So that's very interesting. And of course, SmackDown does the same exact thing. Uh, but Raw actually might be live, even when it's in England, it might be live, you know, broadcast all around the world and we don't have to wait to see it. And that means no spoilers. And this is like a first of the first of the first in history. So this is wonderful. And I cannot wait to see if this is true, because this is absolutely wonderful news if it is true. And while we're speaking about Netflix, just a little side note here. Netflix has put in a request to the WWE about some wrestlers, because they want some wrestlers on their shows, right? Because Netflix is paying WWE, and we all know this, a lot of freaking money. And they want special wrestlers on that show. Apparently, so far, they've requested three main names they want on Monday Night Raw consistently deal through the whole deal, Netflix deal. They want these wrestlers on the show. No exception. They have to be on our show. Uh, and that doesn't mean every week, but just part of Raw. So these three wrestlers they've requested. All right, let's, let's, let's name them off here. We got, of course, our WWE Champion, our undisputed WWE Champion, Cody Rhodes. Okay, who else we got here? You get your Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns. You got Cody Roman on the same show. They both have to be on Raw. And they also have requested CM Punk, the best in the world. So pretty much the three biggest stars in the company have to be on Raw. Does that mean they cannot be on SmackDown? 
not necessarily. Because uh, there was always the brand split. Like, you never had a Raw superstar on SmackDown. You never had a SmackDown superstar on Raw. Usually, sometimes you'd have the crossovers. Uh, but now it's, like, kind of bonkers now. Because they're kind of, like, like flip-flopping a lot. And for a while, they were just on both shows. Everyone was. And now it's, like, random. And the brand split. I don't know where we stand with that. It's not really, like, a hard brand split anymore. Uh, but we'll see where that goes. Because those are three of the biggest names. And I know SmackDown might want some of those names, too. So we'll see what they come up with as far as how hard they're going to enforce the brand split. And the next rumor is also about, like, Raw, SmackDown, the televised shows. So there's been, like, flip-flopping going on also about how long the shows are. Because forever, Raw was the three-hour show, SmackDown was the two-hour show, and then we, we flip-flopped now, SmackDown's three hours, Raw's on two hours, and now we have this rumor starting in January, which is literally only a few months away. January 2025, magically, both shows will go poof and turn to three hours each. So that's six hours of wrestling, not including the dark matches they do in these shows, filming for other shows and stuff like that. So they're really pushing like almost seven hours of wrestling a week, not counting when it's a premium live event week. When it's a premium live event week, we're pushing, uh, you, you know, whatever, 10, 11 hours of wrestling, televised wrestling a week, not counting house shows. So like this is a lot of to produce and a lot. So anyway, it's going to take a lot of wrestlers to make this much wrestling happen every single week. And we're expecting a lot more call-ups from NXT happening probably really soon. So everything's gonna get shifted around because that's a lot of televised wrestling to come up with. And honestly, when, when you have less wrestling, sometimes it's better because it's more condensed. It's like perfect, it's just like perfectness. When you have so much wrestling, it kind of gets watered down and you're kind of just filming things and making matches just to make them. And it really doesn't have much story. And honestly, I don't know what to think. There's a kind of a good side to this and a bad side to this. Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm kind of split in the middle. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is actually it. This is the final news story, the final rumor, the final thing I'm going to be talking about inside this episode of WWE News Rumors. This is about none other than a former WWE Women's Champion, someone who's been on a little hiatus, missing from our television since for a little while. I'm talking about none other than Becky Lynch. So Becky Lynch is taking a hiatus from WWE. She has a family. Of course, she's married to Seth Rollins. She's, like, at home doing the family thing, taking a break from wrestling. She's done so much in wrestling, probably about everything she could do in wrestling. Uh, however, there is going to be those talks of a return because she has no active contract with the WWE. She has no contract. She has no contract with any wrestling company. She could go anywhere in the world and wrestle if she absolutely wanted to. Um, so there's apparently her name's been coming up a lot backstage. Uh, and even with like sponsorships and deals, they've been working with other companies. Her names came up a lot. And they're like, she's not under contract. We can't do anything with her. And then, they, of course, we have the, the Royal Rumble coming up. You got WrestleMania coming up. So her name's going to come into question. So apparently they're talking about it. Uh, there were some like false rumors I heard that she was asking for a lot of money and they didn't want to pay it. Uh, but of course, they're throwing out giant contracts right now with its parent company. So I don't think that's true. Everyone's saying that's not true as connections and everything. Saying it's not true that she was just taking uh, kind of a break because she's kind of burnt out and she's feel like she's done everything she's she's done and she was out there like working every single week and she wasn't like in a main spot or anything like that. They were trying to put more focus on like the newer NXT people, I guess. But nonetheless, Becky Lynch return, I believe it will happen. I am definite, it will happen one day. Is it too soon? I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see. But honestly, if you're having a return, wait for the Royal Rumble, because Royal Rumble is where all returns should be. I literally said this last year when they had CM Punk return in November. I'm like, you should have held it off for the Rumble, but at the same time, you can't be that Chicago crowd. So if it's a perfect setting, I guess I can't complain too much. But Becky Lynch return might be happening soon. We will just have to wait and see. So there you guys, Sarah, that's actually enjoyed it for this episode of WWE News Rumors. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on all these news stories and rumors in the comment section down below. But ladies and gentlemen, I am your one and only. Don't you dare forget it. I'm your king of vlog style, Brandon Hodge. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Yo.